Welcome back. Now, Taiwan's presidential candidates are waging an all-out charm offensive to woo voters in the lead-up to Saturday's polls. Some 19 million people are eligible to cast their ballots in the presidential and parliamentary elections. And President Tsai Ing-wen remains a front-runner ahead of challenges Han Guoyu of the main opposition Kuomintang Party and James Sung of the People First Party. Mr. Han is holding a major campaign rally this evening in Taipei. He has said he would reset ties with Beijing to boost Taiwan's economy, but promised not to compromise on the island's security or democratic way of life. Victoria Jen joining us now from Taipei. Victoria, how are you uh, trailing President Tsai uh, by a significant margin in these uh, pre-election polls? Um, I'm wondering, are people believing what he's saying? You're at the rally right now. What's uh, the mood been there? Well, yes, that's right. The rally in front of the presidential office has so far drawn hundreds of thousands of people. Now, Han Guoyu's camp claimed that the number of people has exceeded half a million. Now, it's still less than the one million people that his camp is hoping to attract, but many are his hardcore fans, so they're still very confident that Han is going to win the vote on Saturday. Now, there is also saying that Polls are no longer reliable um, since uh, after uh, Han Guoyu told his supporters not to respond to any more polls. So some say that the actual gap between her, uh, Tsai Ing-wen and Han Guoyu may be down to single digits. Now, based on the size of the turnout today, there is still clearly a very strong base for um, support base for the Kaohsiung city mayor. But when, uh, whether he can win the island's top post, we will find out this Saturday. Vic, you know the uh, issues of China and Hong Kong, it's been spotlighted during the uh, campaign season, but unfortunately there seems to be very few little mentioned of the policies. You know, are voters actually concerned about that? Yes, it actually has been a major problem throughout this entire presidential campaign. And that is, there is little mention of any substantial policies from both camps. Han Guoyu's camp tends to focus on attacking the Tsai administration, like her failure to secure Taiwan's diplomatic allies, and her controversial economic policies that made people's lives miserable. And Tsai, on the other hand, has been busy pointing out that Han Guoyu's lack of experience in erratic style and so it's actually not easy for the voters to cast their ballots based on policies but rather whose persona they like better or dislike the you know the least if you wish and that is why um, that there are still some 20 percent voters that remain undecided so this battle has basically come down to a face-off between the pro-independence and pro-reunification forces once again indeed hands the uh, hands winners in the uh, voters hands here thank you very much uh, Vic Victoria Jen speaking to us uh, in Taipei